right. Let's get to our first semifinalist of this round. That is Marilyn Yang, who is the co-founder and CEO of Papadelix. Okay, your microphone, please just mind your timer. It's over there. Hi, everyone. My name is Marilyn Yang, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Fungal Snacks, which is the parent company of Papadelix. Very excited to be here today at Nosh Pitch Slam 12. And even though we just met, there's really only two things you guys really need to know about me. One, I love mushrooms, and two, I love snacking. So naturally, as a picky yet adventurous eater who happens to love mushrooms, it really hit me one day that mushrooms, especially crunchy mushrooms, are noticeably absent from grocery store shelves. I've had kale chips and carrot chips, so why shouldn't there be mushroom chips too? So if, like me, you also love mushrooms, you're going to love Papadelics. But if you're a mushroom doubter, you're still going to love Papadelics. Take everything you've ever known about mushrooms and throw it out the window. <laughs> because Papadelics are shiitake mushrooms reimagined for the modern superfood snacker. Papadelics aren't just a snack. They're an experience. When I founded Papadelics, our goal was to create a better-for-you snack that actually tasted good. Packed with incredible flavor and a dense, crispy texture, our snacks will have you tripping off the taste. To produce its signature crunch, Papadelics leverages a unique cooking method called vacuum frying, which allows foods to cook at a lower temperature while retaining much more of their color, nutrients, texture, and flavor. Papadelics are also vegan, non-GMO, and a good source of protein and fiber. Papadelics is currently available in three addictive mouth-watering flavors, trip and truffle parm, twisted Thai chili, and rad rosemary and salt. Purchases also support the Fungal Snacks Foundation, a charitable foundation we also started that supports various causes centered around health and wellness. As for Fungal Snacks, Papadelics is only the beginning. We want to become a platform for innovative snacks that leverage not only the benefits of mushrooms, but other underloved veggies. In the meantime, I can't wait for all of you to transport your taste buds to a new level in superfood snacking with Papadelics Crunchy Mushroom Chips. Thank you. Your Thank you. Well done, Marilyn. <clears throat> All right, uh, let's start with Karen. Um, Marilyn mentioned that the uh, grocery store aisle, that's the snack aisle, was missing mushroom chips. Does it need mushroom chips? It might, actually. Um, I'm not a mushroom person, and uh, they were great. And there really is nothing like that on the shelf, so I think there is a, a spot for them. Yeah, let's stay on the flavor for a second. Uh, Matt, you uh, market some crunchy snacks as well. Uh, what do you think of the taste of these? And you know, does it sort of is there a point of reference for these products this, that currently exist on shelf? Um, <clears throat> I thought they were dynamite. Uh, they were very poppable. The crunch was stellar. It was one of the best crunches I've had in a snack. So the vacuum frying it really delivered. <clears throat> the flavor profile was excellent. Um, again, I don't know if the world needs a mushroom chip on shelf, but I don't think it also needs six kale chips on shelf. So I think this serves a unique, you know, slot, and it, it could earn its right because it was so tasty and fun. Adrian, we've seen a lot more mushroom products come to market. You've reported on quite a bit as well yourself. Um, how do Papadelics kind of fit into this emerging category, this emerging ingredient? They definitely stand out. Um, like my co-judges have said, the taste was fantastic, and it was an incredible crunch. The one thing that kind of tripped me up. Um, took a little too long to notice that these were not actually a psychedelic mushroom. They wouldn't go, over, you know, floating off into space after eating them. <laughs> so that would be a one, one tip on the packaging, I would say. Could be yeah, reviewed. I mean, we can talk about the packaging. I mean, Jason, you know, does Papadelics pop when it comes to its uh, branding? I think it did. I, I like both the packaging and the product. I think one of the questions as investors we ask a lot is, is this a product or is this a company? We want to see that there's a bigger picture or more of a runway. I think it's very interesting that the pitch kind of ended with this idea of a platform for underloved veggies, which I think people are being very successful. I think there's a real need for that. That doesn't mean there's not a need for the mushroom, but you may think about whether or not your pitch is about the platform where the mushrooms is your first foray into the platform or whether the mushrooms is your, is your pitch and that you may someday do other things because from an investor, those can sometimes be seen as two very different things. Excellent. Karen, did you want to say something? I do. Um, this was the first time I've seen mushrooms that there wasn't functional benefits with it, so that was a bit of a disconnect. Gotcha. All right, great feedback.